Max and the Quest for Hidden Wonders In the vast expanse of the cosmic playground, Max discovers a magical star map that leads to an intergalactic adventure. Guided by the twinkling star map, he hopped from one colorful planet to another, each with its own unique inhabitants. On planet Celestia, Max befriended a group of luminescent stardust fairies who gifted him a magical comet tail to light his way through the cosmic darkness. As Max continued his quest, he encountered the mischievous nebula gnomes on the gas giant of Giggles, where laughter echoed through the celestial clouds. They challenged him to a game of planetary hopscotch, testing his agility and wit. The final destination in Max's cosmic escapade was the enchanted galaxy gardens, where planets bloomed like radiant flowers. The cosmic butterflies, guardians of the gardens, shared the secret of the celestial bloom a flower that held the power to spread joy across the universe. With the celestial bloom in his paw, Max bid farewell to his newfound friends in the cosmos, returning to Earth with a heart full of celestial wonders. Little did he know, the adventure was only beginning, as the enchanted flower held a surprise that would shape the next chapter of his extraordinary journey. Back on Earth, Max found himself in the vast, shimmering waves of the mystical desert. The celestial bloom in his paw glowed with a subtle magic as he roamed the golden sands. In the distance, a mirage danced, and curious desert creatures gathered around. As Max approached, the mirage transformed into a magnificent oasis, complete with sparkling pools and lush palm trees. A wise old desert tortoise greeted him and shared tales of the elusive desert rose, a flower said to bloom only once every century. Legend had it that the bloom held the power to reveal the hidden truths of the desert. Determined to uncover the secret of the desert rose, Max embarked on a journey guided by the whispers of the desert wind. Along the way, he encountered playful sand foxes and danced with the mirage dancers, creatures that only appeared in the shimmering heat. As Max ventured deeper into the desert, he discovered a hidden chamber where the desert rose awaited. To awaken its magic, he needed to solve a riddle inscribed on ancient stones. The desert tortoise, wise in the ways of the sands, provided clues, and together, they unraveled the mystery. Upon the bloom of the desert rose, the desert landscape transformed. Hidden springs bubbled to the surface, and vibrant flora emerged from the once arid ground. Max realized that the magic of the desert rose was not just in its bloom but in the transformative power of its truth-revealing enchantment, with the desert rose in tow, Max bid farewell to the desert, the celestial bloom still glowing with cosmic energy. As he journeyed to the next destination, a shimmering portal opened, revealing a swirling sea where aquatic adventures awaited him. The echoes of the desert's enchantment lingered, promising that every destination held a unique magic waiting to be uncovered. Transported to the mesmerizing depths of the deep blue sea, Max felt the cool embrace of the ocean currents. With the celestial bloom and desert rose in tow, he encountered Neptune's royal dolphins, who greeted him with flips and spins, inviting him to join their aquatic dance. Guided by the dolphins, Max dove into the heart of the ocean, where the legendary coral citadel awaited. Here, the wise sea turtles shared tales of hidden underwater kingdoms and ancient artifacts. Max discovered a mysterious, luminescent pearl that radiated a gentle hum. As he continued his journey through the vibrant coral reefs, Max encountered a school of shimmering fish, each with a unique pattern of colors. The fish explained that they were the guardians of the whispering waves, and the hum of the pearl resonated with their ancient song. To unlock the magic of the pearl, Max and the guardians embarked on a musical quest. They swam through swirling currents, creating melodies that echoed through the ocean depths. The celestial bloom added its cosmic harmony, and the pearl revealed a hidden chamber with a treasure chest filled with ancient sea scrolls. These scrolls held the map to the fabled Oceanic Observatory, where a wise sea sage awaited. Max, guided by the celestial bloom's glow and the wisdom of the scrolls, ventured deeper into the ocean's mysteries. Little did he know that the sage held a secret that would link the tales of the desert, sea, 
and beyond into an extraordinary narrative of interconnected wonders. Stepping through a mysterious portal, Max found himself in the land of pyramids and pharaohs. The celestial bloom and desert rose still radiated with cosmic and desert magic. Max's fur bristled with excitement as he explored the bustling markets and towering monuments. As he ventured deeper into the ancient realm, he encountered a mischievous sphinx. The sphinx playfully challenged Max with riddles, promising to reveal the secrets of the ancient land upon solving each one. Eager to unravel the mysteries, Max accepted the challenge. With each clever answer, the Sphinx led him through hidden passages and sacred tombs, unveiling the stories of the once great pharaohs and their mythical treasures. Along the way, Max encountered animated hieroglyphics that came to life, sharing tales of ancient magic and timeless wisdom. Guided by the celestial bloom's glow, Max discovered an ancient artifact, the Solar Scarab, a mystical beetle with the power to harness the energy of the sun. As he held the scarab in his paw, the desert, sea, and cosmic magic intertwined, creating a mesmerizing display of colors and shapes. With the solar scarab and the wisdom of the Sphinx, Max embarked on a journey to unlock the secret chamber of the legendary sun god. Little did he know that this chapter of his adventure would unveil not only the secrets of ancient Egypt but also connect him to the celestial wonders he had encountered in the cosmic and aquatic realms. Surrounded by towering peaks and crisp mountain air, Max found himself in the majestic realm of the Himalayas. The celestial bloom, desert rose, and solar scarab glowed with a harmonious energy as he navigated through snowy landscapes, encountering mystical creatures and traversing frozen rivers. High among the Himalayan heights, Max befriended a mythical snow leopard named Luna, guardian of the crystal summit. Luna shared tales of a lost crystal, the heart of the Himalayas, which held the power to bring balance to the natural world. Guided by Luna's paw prints and the celestial light of the artifacts, Max set out on a quest to retrieve the crystal. The journey led Max through treacherous mountain paths, where he encountered mischievous yetis and playful mountain spirits. Along the way, the celestial bloom's glow resonated with the heart of the Himalayas, creating a dazzling display of colors that illuminated the snowy landscape. Upon reaching the crystal summit, Luna revealed that Max's adventures were intricately connected. The celestial energy, desert enchantment, sea melodies, and ancient Egyptian magic all converged at this sacred place. With the celestial bloom, desert rose, solar scarab, and now the heart of the Himalayas, Max had become the guardian of a cosmic equilibrium. As he returned to his familiar surroundings, Max realized that the magic of his journey wasn't just in the artifacts but in the interconnected stories of the cosmic, desert, sea, Egyptian, and Himalayan realms. The celestial bloom pulsed with the heartbeat of the earth, carrying the energy of each adventure. 